Hello again everybody and welcome back to another edition of On The Range and I'm not really going to be in a specific aircraft this time. I'm just kind of recording something that I meant to do before I got into a UH-1 Huey On The Range video. But I'm going to go back now and just kind of describe it as I do this. Specifically what I'm going to be doing is adding pages to my kneeboard. The kneeboard being the display that you'll see me uh, do uh, bring up probably in about every video that I've done recently. The display is important information, specifically checklists is what I've been using for the most. So essentially what you do is you take a screenshot of what you want to come up on the kneeboard, save it to a specific location on your computer, and then it'll be there displayed on the kneeboard when you bring it up in the simulation. So I'm going to do that with just a random page out of the DCS Huey manual. I've already saved screenshots of a few. I'm just going to do this to show how the how I capture screenshots and I do it using the snipping tool and it's a it's a program that is there by default in Windows and I believe it's under accessories if you look under uh, your start menu and accessories I believe you'll find it but either way yeah snipping tool is how you how I do it and it's probably about the best way to do it so let's say for example I want this page on the kneeboard what I need to do is come to the snipping tool click new and then I drag around the outline of the page, or outline of whatever it is that I want to show up on the kneeboard. Okay, and then it captures that screenshot. I come up here to save it. And the location that I want to save it at, and I'll kind of run through the entire process, show you how to get there. It's on the C drive. You'll go to Users. Go to, uh, not the public folder, whatever your name is, not Rob, but whatever your name happens to be. And then it's going to be under Saved Games. You should have a folder there called DCS and Hegemony Rome. That's a good game too if you're into that sort of thing. But within DCS, you have a kneeboard folder and that's where you save your screenshot. So for this one, I'll just call this... No, I'll just call this Test 1. And it's going to save it to that folder as either a PNG, a GIF, JPEG, or a HTML file. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated than it probably should be. I'm going to save it as a JPEG file just because that's one of the default ways that the snipping tool saves it. But now, unfortunately, what I have to do is go back and resave that file as a BMP, a bitmap file. Because as far as I know, that's the only file format that the kneeboard can read. Now to do this, there are many different ways. Uh, I'll show you what I do and I'll go just to show where this is at again. It's on the C drive. It's under Users, Your Name, it's under Saved Games, DCS, Kneeboard. And you can see that I already have a lot of stuff here, but the ones that I want to make into bitmaps for the mission that I'm currently recording, I'm kind of in the middle of right now, is Test 1 that I just took the screenshot of, and then it's the Weapons Checklist from the DCS1 Huey Manual. Okay, so I'll just open these in... Well, I'm not going to do that, am I? Okay, yeah, I only have one option. I'm going to click open, and it's going to bring them up in Photoshop. This is set to my to be my default uh, editing software. Uh, any software that you want would want to use. I'm sure there are some free versions out there on the internet somewhere of good software that will just quick and dirty save a bitmap file. Maybe Microsoft Paint or like one of the default programs that comes with Windows. I'm sure does it. But okay, I have these JPEGs, and now let me just go through and. Uh, save them as bitmaps. I'll use the same names. I will save you the tedium because this does get tedious, especially if you're doing a lot of them. I'll pause recording right here and come right back once everything is saved. Okay, now I have all these files that I had taken screenshots of saved as bitmaps into that folder. And there is one thing to pay attention to. Uh, and it's the number sequence. They're going to show up on your kneeboard in the sequence that they're saved. So I have 001, 002, 003, 004, etc, etc. Now one little thing to watch out for is if I were to name, for example, this one just plain old 1, it's not going to sort correctly. You have to have the, like for example, 1, 10 would show up after 1. Or no, it would go 1, 10, and then it would go back to 2, 20, 3, 30, etc, etc. So, numbering them with the full number. 001, 002, 003, etc, etc. All the way down the line. 
is a surefire way to get them to show up in the correct order. And as a test, I okay, I have weapon one, weapon two, weapon three, weapon four for the weapons checklist, and test one as the screenshot that I just took as a demonstration here. So from here, all I have to do is load up DCS, and they will be right there on my kneeboard. So let me do that real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back in the UH1, and let me go ahead and bring up the kneeboard, and by default, it's right shift K. So there's the kneeboard, and to get to the stuff that you add yourself, you click the right, I'm sorry, the left bracket button. It's the one just uh, up into the left of your inner key. Uh, left bracket, and that's going to go to the stuff that you added yourself. So starting up here at the left side, okay, there was 001, 002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or actually, okay, stop to 10. There's test 1, and here's WPN1, WPN2, WPN3, 4, 5, all in order. So there we go. That's a quick and easy way to get stuff onto the kneeboard. And that's it for this edition. I hope you did enjoy it. And now I will continue with this uh, test flight UH1 Huey video. But thanks again for watching the On the Range series. I hope you are enjoy it. enjoying it. I will see you next time.